All right, what's up, my friends? We're playing a deck that I like a lot, and I haven't played it uh, since the release of... Um, sorry, I've played it since the release of Modern Horizons, but I haven't played it since the banning of Hogak, Faithless Looting, and the unbanning of Stoneforge Mystic. And I played this deck uh, a while ago. Last SGG Con, I top eight of the Modern Championship with it. Um, this is pre-Force Negation, and Force is really good in this deck, but... We got another new element, too, as well. Now, I played a four-color version of this deck, uh, playing the snow package with Astrolab and stuff a while back, and the green cards were okay. It was like Ren 6 and Ice Fang Coddle. But Astrolab was the card that really excited me, because Astrolab is so good with both parts of a combo. Now, for those who don't know how this deck works, this is a combo deck based around the Planeswalker Sahili Rai and the creature Feldar Guardian. Sealy Rise, minus two ability, copies a creature in play, and gives it haste. And Feldar Guardian ability says, when it comes into play, you flicker something. So, you flicker a Planeswalker, it's now a new Planeswalker, and you get to use the ability again. So you copy Feldar Guardian, flicker Sahili, copy Feldar Guardian, flicker, flicker Sahili, copy Feldar Guardian, flicker Sahili, million, million times, and you have a, as many 1-4 attackers as you want to kill your opponent. So it's basically Splinter Twin, just at sorcery speed, not instant speed. And we have what's basically a twin deck here. Uh, we're playing Jeskai. We've got bolts and paths. We have our removal spells, our interactions, spell pierce, force negation, snapcaster mage. And we're just trying to kind of play a fair game, do some stuff here, kill some things there, do some stuff, and then kill you. Uh, you can do it all in one turn if you have six mana. You can play Feldar Guardian, flicker a land, which untaps it, then cast a Healy. Um, or you can just have one of the pieces in play and then play the other one as well. Um, best card in this deck is Teferi Time Raveler. This card is already so good. Just so good by itself. But shutting off your opponent's ability to interact with you makes comboing a breeze. If it's ever Teferi in play, it's almost like a combo piece because they have to kill it, otherwise they can't stop you from going off. So Teferi is phenomenal. Teferi is also a great card to flicker with Feldar Guardian. Um... Which brings us to our next point of you got to have things to do with Feldar Guardian and Sahili that isn't just a combo. Otherwise, you end up playing like a kind of lame duck combo deck. Kind of like you're playing Through the Breach Emrakul, where you just draw too many cards that don't do anything and you lose. Um, so, Feldar Guardian, of course, can blicker. You can blicker. That's like a blink and a flicker had a baby. It's called a blicker. Um, can flicker any of your planeswalkers to reset them and use them again. So, insanely good with Narset. Um, you thought oh, the first Narset was good? Narset minus, turn four minus, flicker minus. Yeah. And then to Teferi Time Raveler, you can just minus it, draw a card, and flicker it, reset it, which is awesome. But the real piece here that I really liked from the Snow version of a deck was how well Astrolab plays with Feldar Guardian and Sahili. Now, originally... Before Modern Horizons and even before that, this deck used to play like Spreading Seas or Wall of Omens, just like these crappy cards that were barely mediocrely playable, but at least made Feldar Guardian good. No, get that out of here. Um, now we get to play a one mana cantrip, which fixes our mana, and plays with both Feldar Guardian and Sahili and Teferi. So you can flicker it with Feldar Guardian. Just 1-4, four, 4 mana draw a card, which is fine. With Sahili, you can just copy it. So you can copy an artifact you control. So just minus 2, draw a card. That's great. And then to Teferi, you can minus 3, bounce to your hand, draw a card, recast it, draw a card. Just makes Teferi into a, into a minus 3, into a draw 2 instead of draw 1. Um, so Astrolab is basically everything this deck could want. It's just, just This card is just so good. It's just unreal. Um... We gotta play a few more fetch lands to ensure we have a, a basic on turn one. But for the most part, this is everything you want. So this solves our problem, making sure our cards are good. It's just good by itself. It's a cantrip, shrinks our deck, allows us to cut a land, just perfect. Just perfect. So um don't need to play green at all, I don't think. I think green's just a, a more trouble than it's worth. We just have this nice, clean, pseudo Jeskai control deck with a combo kill. Narth is great. Uh force mitigation is the bomb. My article tomorrow on CoolStuffInc.com talks about how Force of Negation is probably one of the most important cards in Modern. And I go over a bunch of deck lists. Um, 
with that play force negation, this card's super, super important. With looting gone and graveyard decks on the decline and Hogak gone, this card is so important. And it's so good in this deck because we have a lot of extraneous blue cards that we don't want to, don't want to draw two of. And just, it's great. It's great. Only playing two snaps because it's not really the main focus of a deck, honestly. It's possible the deck wants more, um, but I felt like Narset was more important. I could easily see playing three, three snaps and three forces, but I wanted to try four forces and get a feel for it. Um, we're not really like, like the body is fine on Snapcaster Mage, but it's not astounding. Snapcaster Mage is also a three mana spell. You know, it looks like it costs two, but it actually costs three because you cast it with a one mana spell. And we already have a lot of threes in our deck. So I think Snapcaster is probably the weakest three um, because Nars is just so good. And of course, uh, Nars it plays better with Feldar Guardian, so on and so forth. So only two snaps. Um, I could see a Force being a snap or a Helix being a snap, but I love the idea of having one Helix to dig for with Narset against Burn, and uh, that's why. So, two Spell Pierce. Uh, card's really good in this deck for defending your combo and just a good early tempo play in general. That's the deck. No Colin Odds. Too slow. Um, nice mana base. Cyborg's got um, a lot of the usual stuff. Timely for Burn. Um, it's nice we can, we can play Sony Silence and Rest in Peace, and they don't really hurt us at all, which is awesome. Um, rest in Peace. Purge is a nice little, nice tool. We're still a, failed, a, still a fair deck, so cards like Purge, Wear and Tear, Explosives, all useful. Uh, third Narset for when that's good. Dispel, Miser's Dispel. Get two Wrath Effects in Supreme Verdict and Explosives. Geist Saint Draft, one of the cooler cards in the sideboard. Um, some matchups, they might line up really well against your combo. Or be able to stop your combo in some way. Well, Geist is also really good at killing people, and they probably won't have answers to it. So Geist is pretty nice. Uh, one Ashiok. This is a, a hybrid graveyard hate card or uh, Valakit hate card. I think we are a little soft to big mana decks. It is nice we can just turn for them, but probably a little soft there. So we'll see how that is. Um, I used to play three spreading seas main deck. Um, we're not playing those anymore. So. Um, a braid for Chalice. You can bounce Chalice. The good thing about Teferi is that Teferi just bounces whatever hate card they have. Teferi is so good in a combo deck because it removes your opponent's ability to interact. It's a good tempo play. It draws cards. And then whatever hate permanent they have to try and stop your combo, you just bounce it with Teferi. Ensnaring Bridge, bounce it. You know, Ruined Halo on Feldar Guardian, bounce it. It handles almost everything. It's awesome. So, again, I think we're a little soft for big mana on the sideboard. We'll see if we need to change that. But for now, deck seems tight. I like it. Uh, just played a fun, spooky burn deck. Went 4-1. and one. That was fun. If you missed that one, it'll be up on YouTube. Check it. All right. But for now, we got some Sahili to do. Why no Prismatic Vista? I think your regular fetches are just better. You still want to find dual lands a decent amount of the time, so nice. Two hundred eighty-one to go. Joe, I appreciate that. Thanks so much. Resub six months. Enjoy your new silver badge. You love to see it. Love to see it. While we're waiting here, Let's see if we can load this up before the up. Uh, nope, match started. Ooh, it's a pretty fun graphic. Hello, tomorrow, the Battle of the Bands. Pretty cool. That's a cool graphic. And then we got this graphic, too. So tomorrow, Battle of the Bands. I am banned from playing Narset, Thought Erasure, Teferi, Soren, Risen Reef, Teferi, Mox Amber, Mountain, <laughs> Kethis, and Feather. And Ali is banned from playing Chromatic Lantern, Field of the Dead, Golos, Hydrocrasis, Island, Mastermind's Acquisition, Narset, Nexus of Fate, Teferi, Teferi. So Battle of Bands tomorrow. Those are our each individual ban lists. We gotta build three different decks that don't use these cards. We're gonna battle tomorrow, 1 p.m. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll be on YouTube, all right? That's pretty fun. Uh, all right, hand is good, let's keep. No Teferi is allowed. No Teferi's allowed. I'm looking forward to building my deck for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Um, we're going to get 
basic island. Did I say basic island? I meant snow covered island. Would have been so funny if I didn't have snow covered lands and like I added the Astro Labs and forgot to add the snow covered lands. That'd been hilarious. Force Mesa. So we're gonna bottom the force. Um Right? Maybe not. I think we... Hmm. If they're playing Flutter Strand, they're playing a fair matchup. I think I still want the Force. Uh, do I want this land, too? I don't think so. I don't like full art lands. I like old, crappy Ice Age lands. It's who I am. Let's see what's up here. Flooded Strand Steam Vents? Okay. Could be Storm. Thinger in the Ice? Wow, okay. Um, I mean, we have four paths and four Teferis in our deck, so that's not that bad. I think we're just saying go here, though. Is this is what I was saying about Snapcaster being a three drop. Uh, we just have three, 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 three. You know? This is our first match, first game of the, of the league. Yep. The snow version being the four color version. I don't think green's worth it. I don't think green really adds to your strategy overall. It's possible they're playing blue moon. Maybe. Like thing in the ice and then no spells is kind of weird. Could have counter spells. Second bolt's not very good. Um... I can't snap for serum either. It's gross. All right, I'm just gonna guess the Healy. It's might get countered, but whatever. It's also awkward if they can just attack it, but yes, yeah, so we're playing Mono Blue Tron next. The deck went nine and zero at the PTQ last weekend. Archmage's Charm. Uh, sure. Thanks, Captain. All right, not uh, not ideal. Yeah, so this is like a kind of a weird thing in the ice deck here. Planes, and now we can't cast our vision still. Ugh. This is gross. Um, if they're playing Archmage's Charm. They're definitely playing Cryptic Command. I'm just going to say go. You can also have Bolt Snap Bolt their, uh, their thing in the ice. Oh god, what is this? Ral Zarek is it Viceroy? All right, so we're definitely going to force this. I'm pretty sure we're going to just bolt, snap, bolt the thing in the ice right now and then force the Ralzarek itching something. I don't know what that something is, though. Alright, we're gonna pitch Snapcaster Mage. I wanna get Sahili in play. Once it's in play, it's kinda hard for them to kill too, so. Unless they have a Magmatic Sinkhole, but. Three cards in hand. I wouldn't mind a blue source here. Another Sahili? Astro Lab? Yeah, sure. Works for me. I can buy that. I can buy that. It's just some weird blue get blue blue red control deck, it looks like. Lab. 
Draw a card. Serum Visions. Um, we could copy the Astro Lab, but then it makes it really easy for them to kill Sahili, so I'm not going to do that. Scry. Top card, Steam Vents. Bottom. Serum Visions. Another Astrolabe. Bottom Scalding Tarn. Top Serum Visions. Cast Astrolabe. The Labor Lab. Am I saying my saying right? Draw a card. What do you get when you throw a piano down the mine shaft? I don't know, Zam. What do you get? Astro Lab, Lab, bottom, bottom, Laby. None of these are right. None of these are right. You're trolling me. Don't make fun of me on the internet. How dare you? Archmage's charm. I'm just gonna draw two. I guess this is bad because they can attack Sahili now and then bolt it, but. Alright. A flat minor. A flat minor, got it. Alright. Um... I mean, we're running out of Sahili's here, so you gotta be a little more careful, I think. Loot House. This card's so bad. Scarding Island, sure. It's obviously fine in the current scenario, but... Another Snapcaster Mage? Ugh. Yeah, this seems like this game one's not really going our way. I'm going to kill one of these Snapcaster Mages so they can't, like, bounce it back to their hand or something. Four damage turn is definitely a clock. We could path the other one, but it feels really bad. Um, it would allow us to play Sahili on an empty board, though. Not that I even want to cast Sahili, no, it was open mana. I don't know if I have a choice, though. Jeskai control playable? Probably not. All of our snaps are gone now, too. This is going to be tough. Nah, this is fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go. I'm, not, I'm probably not casting Sahili until like we're already set to win, maybe. Alright, good thing I didn't cast Path. Alright, so let them, I'll let them scry. Let them scry, and then we can uh, screw up their scry. Top, bottom. Alright, let's attack for two. They have one card in hand? Ugh. Wow. They're just gonna blow their last counter spell? Okay. That's really annoying. Um, man, they have one card left, and I mean, I guess they scry the card to the top, so their top card could be a thing. I think Stoneforge Mystic adds too much to this deck. 
if you're just you're just putting too many things in at once. It's six slots. Deck's already pretty tight. I think the Planeswalker is just much better. As it is, Spot Rule is pretty bad against you. And Stone Forge just makes it good against you. We're in big trouble here. No, they, they shoveled away their top card. Okay, never mind. Thought maybe that Cryptic Command was about protecting your top card, not about saving thing in the ice, but apparently it wasn't, so... You're not the Heat Chess fan? Brutal. I would say a hard control deck with red-based removal that can kill Planeswalkers is probably not a great matchup for us. Truth be told. Let's grab Spell Snare and a Braid. Sure. Did I see Saffron Olive's Blue White Ameria deck with Soul Herder? Nope. Sounds cool though. Bolt me. Right, I, mean, I imagine we we're probably dead here. Because unfortunately the problem is that Lightning Bolt also breaks up our combo. They can kill the Sahili mid combo, and uh, there's no way to stop it. So they've got a lot of answers for what we're doing here. Are they still not gonna flip this thing? It's going to be very difficult to beat the board. Or out, out of fetchable lands already? Jeez. Do you remember a low light on fetchable lands? God damn it. Alright. Alright. Um tough first game there. Tough first game. We're gonna want uh definitely dispel and narset. Um Definitely guys Saint Draft. Uh, we definitely don't want Lightning Helix. I'm also pretty unenthused about Path. Obviously we need a few answers to Thing in the Ice, but not really that important. Also don't love Force Negation in this matchup. Um, the card disadvantage is kind of tough. Yeah, that, that was tough, Matt. That was a tough game. We draw Spell Pierce. I kind of had awkward hands early. I didn't draw Teferi. Like, we could, we could have resolved with Teferi multiple times in the early game, but... What's up, Rob? No, Dungeon Bonus Leagues open on 800. September. Those who don't know, September, half-price subs. Uh, we've already hit two of our goals. We have three more to go. We're, dra we're, we're drafting. We're streaming 20 days in a row. This is day 9 of 20. And uh, Dungeon Bonus Leagues are the next goal. And at 900, our new mascot. And our new mascot was taking a nap in my lap today while I wrote my article, and it was adorable. So, um, I'm going to cut, like, two forces, I think. I kind of want to cut a, another path. I guess Teferi does answer thing pretty well. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. Let's leave it in the three forces. Honestly, it might be hard casting Thor force, which is fine. Our bolts aren't great either, I guess. But they fit with the, the Geist plan. We're not we're not bringing in Ashiok. So Ace, no, um, our moving situation is screwed up. Um, until we until we get a house, we can't get a dog. So we're probably a few months out from buying a house. We're figuring everything out. Uh, so eventually, yes, but at the moment, it is not possible. 
I mean, I guess blinking Ashiok for more counters is cute, yes. Alright, this hand is uh, pretty great. Uh, we're going to keep. The Spooky Burn went 3-1, and one, and honestly our loss was a little unfortunate. Could have been could have been a 5-0. I'm sorry, 4-1. Could have been a 5-0. You missed it up on YouTube. Definitely it was a fun deck. We got some serious must counters here, which is nice. Um, Sacred Foundry. Uh, I'm not sure how I want to sequence these. Like, I think I want to Astrolab, then Serum Visions. Okay. I think I want to just fetch now. And our mana's perfect for the rest of the game, so... Fortress, Serum Vision, Sahili. Alright, so I think we're going to bottom Fortress, top Serum Vision, say go. We probably jam Sahili next turn. Gets the, the least impressive of our three Planeswalkers, but probably something they would also counter. Skeletons versus Bears. That would be interesting. Yes, Astrolab is really good. Alright, place the healing. Mm. Plus it. Lightning Bolt. Uh, we're going to bottom that. This at least puts some pressure on them to deal with this. Again, it's annoying because against decks that aren't playing red, we can safely just copy Astrolab and draw a card there. Astrolabe, whatever. But um, we can't do that against them, so... Because I can just bolt it. Ah, oh, Scrybug, eh? Top card, Serum Visions again. I kind of don't want to do anything. I'm not going to lie. Um, could fire in for like a Snapcaster Serum Visions. Put a Snap in play, too. We have perfect mana, folks. Perfect mana. Any color our heart desires. Another snap and a force negation. That's not bad. All right, let's go top. Top. I'm going to cast Snapcaster Mage and see if they counter it or not. And they eventually have to do something, right? Remand? Sure. Fine by me. Alright. So, now we have Sahili in play. We have Snapcaster Mage in play. We have perfect mana and a great hand. And we are forcing them to do something. That something is Rampaging Ferocidon. Okay. You say so. Um, so, we could just to fairy bounce it. We can bolt it. We can do whatever the hell we want, honestly. I think the fairy is more important than Narset. I'm just going to cast Narset and see what they do.
Yeah, I'm not sure why they're playing Ferocidon in their deck. It is, it is a hard counter to our combo, but it's true, but... Pack it up. Combo's counter. No, nothing to do here. Uh, Teferi, Narset, Bolt. I mean, all these cards are quite good. I doubt they have a spell pierce here. They could have a, they could have a dispel. Um, but I think that Teferi is still too good. I'm going to bolt this before they untap. Dispel. Wow. Oh. Bolt Narset. Sure. That's fine. Take my two for one. Scry. Top skis. Really weird deck we're playing against here. Uh, really weird. It's funny, I actually saw Pulp Fiction for the first time, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, but I had never seen it before, and the local movie theater was running like a classics night. So I was like, all right, I've never seen Pulp Fiction, I'll go see it. And they had a 40-minute documentary before the movie, all about the movie, and spoiled the entire thing for me. Because I was the only person in the room who hadn't seen Pulp Fiction. It's pretty funny. All right, so we could we, we, we combo here. Obviously, we don't want to because they have a bunch of cards in hand. Um, this is minus two. We can minus two and draw a card here and see what happens. We could also just copy Snapcaster and try and Serum Visions. But if, they, if they do that, they can Bolt, which is annoying. Um, I'm probably slamming to Fairy, honestly. Let's draw a card first, though. It was fine. I'm not big on Tarantino. He's whatever. I think he's pretty overrated. A land is cool. I like lands. Um, so we're going to go for Teferi. I mean, we're not going to go for Teferi here, honestly. Like, we go for Teferi, they probably counter it, but like, we could just do nothing because we could just sit here and do nothing. Like, worst case scenario, they have like Cryptic. They could like counter Teferi, bounce Sahili. That'd suck. Yeah, Tarantino sucks. I said it. I'm, I'm kind of holding visions for my force negation card. We might just end up hard casting force negation anyway. Um, all right, I'll just, I'll just cast it. Whatever. Spell Pierce is tight. Uh, Feldar Guardian is also tight. Land is also tight. Everything that's happening is is tight. So. But I can't just have a fetch land. It's fine, though. Top. Top. All right. We'll stick it up. Listen, I'm always entitled to my wrong opinions, all right? Kirby Command. Bounce Sahili. Draw a card. I am pretty comfortable spell piercing this. Ooh. Ooh, we can get feisty over here. Witch spell. Grow. Eight month resell. Welcome back, my friend. So our top card is Steam Vents, and our next card is Feldar Guardian. I'm pretty happy leaving Sahili in play, honestly. I'm just gonna gonna counter back here. I think we're a little light on fetchable lands. We're being a little greedy. I'm gonna counter the original cryptic command. 
so they can't snap me, right? Yeah. I don't see how someone spitting at you is a positive character trait. Just gotta throw that out there. So, they have Serum Visions, they have three cards in hand. They go top, bottom. Um, they're at 11, we're still attacking, so it's a Helium play. They have Ral, Zarek, Is it Viceroy. Oh, I. Right. You dead. You dead. I mean, I hate to break it to you, Aiden, but he sold out. Anyone who's super successful sold out at some point. You ever hear a song, Hooker with a Penis, by a Tool? You should listen to it. Yes, we can kill them, they're dead. Nah, Force Negation's great. Maybe three is right, but I want to try four. Um, yeah, so we could theoretically Teferi Time Raveler here. No, we can't. Not for guys Foley. Whatever, doesn't matter. Let's do it. Eldar Guardian. And they make us do it. Only if we do it ten times. Uh, always yes, always yield. And you. You can go with this, or you can go with that. Uh, uh, it's not gonna, not, gonna see, not gonna see us every time. God damn, Magic Online. What's yes? One? No, why? Why is yes? Don't be this person who makes your opponent do the infinite combo on Magic Online. It's a Magic Online league. You're playing for, like, some fake treasure chests and some play points, you know? Thankfully, thankfully this, this combo isn't too bad as far as, like, how annoying it is to click it, but... It's 10. You are dead. Oh god, get Star Wars talk going now? Oh god. Want to hear my thoughts on Star Wars? I recorded a YouTube video about it. And I'll post that link in chat for y'all so you can watch it on my YouTube. Because the only to my YouTube is tight. Where is it? Last Jedi isn't a bad movie, but it's so frustrating. I agree. Here you go. So you oh, God, ads. Ads, 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 ads. Check out my, my video. YouTube video. Lack of unity in right. the current Star Wars trilogy and on screen rent. About Star Wars. I talk about Star Wars on stream fairly often. We just group watched the the trailer. Is it watch yes, the Nicole and I enjoy the pitch meeting things. Uh huh. Alright, uh yeah, we're good here, right? Yeah. Why well, have to watch ads on my own videos? I don't know. I, I get ads on Twitch, too. I'm a freaking partner. I make them money. I literally line their pockets with gold. I still gotta watch videos. But, um... But, yeah. Long and short of it is, I think The Last Jedi was simultaneously the best Star Wars movie and then an eh Star Wars movie. Watch the video for why. Oh, God. Alright. Oh, Mulligan. Alright, this is good. We're going to ship. Where's the bolt, honestly? The snap cash is not good yet, but it will be. Let's 
Serum Visions. Rogue One is awesome. One of the best Star Wars movies, not close. Okay. Um Pretty sure we scalding Tarn and we we Serum Visions first. Yes, it is possible I can run my computer 24-7 watching my videos and earn like a dollar a month. You are correct. Uh, match number... I don't even know. I forgot. Top, top. Sulfur Falls, sure. Young Pyromancer? What is going on? Alright, well, I guess I bought in the bolt like an idiot. I mean, we have we played two long games, I haven't seen this card yet. Uh, now we're probably in trouble. I mean, our top card's Feldar Guardian, we do want that one. I guess I could always... You know, it's actually... Astrolab, draw Feldar Guardian, then Serum Visions. Yeah, that's better. All right, there's our Feldar Guardian. Now we get, I guess, Plains over Mountain. Doesn't really matter too much. Serum Visions. Narset Scalding Tarn. Don't need another Narset. Don't think I want Scalding Tarn either. I mean, we need a land, but like... I guess we need a land. Alright, we'll top it. This Pirate Master's gonna eat us alive. Honestly. Like... We have four bolts in our deck, but... They're going to Nars it? Alright, cool. So now I get to... I could Teferi bounce Pyromancer, but then they just, keep, just bolt it and kill it. Alright, I guess we're probably going to play our own Nars it. Try to find a bolt. I guess again, just, you know, you know, punting here, I don't know. Ugh. Where's that lightning bolt that I bottomed? Oh, why do you the mulligan? Mulligans suck. Opt and spell pierce. Ugh, they have a spell pierce or behind. That's so rough. Oh boy, if they have a counter spell here, we're dead. They have Op, Spell Pierce, and four other cards. Like, if this Feldar Guardian resolves, I feel really good. Uh, if it doesn't, I feel less good. Please have all negates. <sighs> Alright, I think we're dead. Seems like a difficult matchup. How am I hungry again? I ate like an hour ago. I'm just a ravenous monster. I just had a protein shake this morning. Jeez. I mean, Teferi is defense grid, but... Will they ever change the mulligan rule again? I don't know. Yeah, we, oh, now we draw a mobile spell? God damn it. Alright, um... I mean, pathing a Pyromancer feels awful, too. You should give them more lands and they have so many cards in their hand.
And they have Narset in play, which is also problematic. So... Let me just say go here. Sakurath, you're absolutely correct. That's why it's a good uh why it's a good song. I guess I could allow this opt to resolve, and maybe they admitted a force negation. I don't know. Like these three tokens are just brutal. Like in a matchup like this. It's interesting. That's actually pretty good, honestly. We can play Teferi and maybe defend it, but they just, they just have like so much mana and spell beers and guards. Ugh. Damn pyromancers. Alright, I'm just gonna go to the next match. Our deck is definitely not built to beat, like, again, it's the combination of like a hard control deck with damage base removal. If they're blue-white control and they can't remove my Planeswalkers from the board, it's a lot easier. And then that young Pyromancer, which is out of nowhere. If we'd ever also, also ever resolved a a, uh, a Geist Sand Trap, probably could never lose either. It's a tough, tough first match there. Tough first match. That's okay, though. All right, folks. September. John, come here. Tell them all about September. 600 subs and 700. But what is it? What is it? You're re you're, don't, don't just read the thing. Tell them about it. It's you, when there's a more chance of us getting subs. What? When you're selling something, bud, you got to explain why it's good for them to buy it, not for us. Like, yeah, if we're a store and we're selling pizzas, it's great they buy our pizzas because we'll have money and we can have more money, right? But they don't care about us getting more money. They care about them getting pizzas. So... Why is it good for them to sub right now? It's 50% off There we go. And then what are they, What happens if we get more subs? We can get to the, res, the reception bonus leagues. And then at 900 subs, we will introduce our new stream mascot. But please do 1,000. Please, pretty, pretty, please. 999, please. 999, we'll stop, we'll stop at 999. No, please, pretty, pretty, please. Get over 1,000 subs for a 24-hour stream. Yeah, check this out, bud. Our new stream mascot, who will remain unnamed, was sleeping in my lap today while we were, uh... I was, I was writing my article. Isn't he silly? Yeah. <laughs> but y'all can't see that, because he's not, he's not here yet. All right, anyway. So let's, let's, play, let's play a nice match here. Uh, Good luck. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, this hand's great. We can keep it. Yeah, so 9.99 subs. We're stopping there. No more subs. Goblin guide. All right, that's 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 a land. It's not great for us, but now the problem is if they have an eidolon, things get really ugly. There's always the the fear of bolting the goblin guide. <sighs> I think we're gonna do it though. We just can't take more damage from it. All right, and we have eight cards in hand. So we're gonna do it now. I 
If we, wait, if we wait for the attack, we'll have eight cards in hand. We'll have to move to discard. So you're hoping to hit a land off this, and we can just discard a land and not and just have a land anyway. So the only benefit would be getting slightly deeper into our deck if it is a land, but I'd rather just keep the cards in my hand. Oh, thank God, no Eidolon. Whew. This fairy's pretty good, too. All right, let's Astro Lab. We can definitely take a minimum from our lands here, which is pretty good. God. Um, now we're going to fetch... I guess a Plains, because we have Silver Falls for blue. Doesn't really matter, honestly. So we're at 17, and we'll hopefully take no more damage from our lands. Maybe one off a of Scalding Tarn, but man, we're almost out of lands here. We, we gotta play some more basics. And like one more basic vegetable land. We're playing Boros Serum Visions. Like my shirt. It's my beer league hockey team. First game of the season tonight. 9 p.m. 8 p.m. 9 p.m. Some point. Feldar Guardian. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, the problem is every burn spell on their deck is a, a counter spell to my combo, which is annoying. But we're going to bottom this land. We'll top Serum Visions. We'll say go. We can get Teferi and play to defend the combo, but... Yes, Astrolab is very good in this deck because it works on both halves of your combo. Sahili can copy it and draw a card. Feldar Guardian can blink it and draw a card. Card's just way too good. Ooh. Stomping Ground? Helix. No land, go. Okay, so this is actually really good for us. Now we get to just uh, play Teferi. They have to respond. If not, we plus it. I don't think that, that Stoneforge is good in this deck. As I said earlier, um, it just turns on all their removal. Helix us, cool. They have to kill us in two turns. Um, and with them missing a land drop, that could be hard to do. So... Yes, Bouncing Astrolab with Teferi is also phenomenal. You draw a card, then draw a card. La Spike, okay. Spell Pierce is really good. That was a very good draw. Um, I think I'm fine going to 7. We're not going to actually go to 7 yet. We're just going to play a land and maybe not sacrifice it, but... Just gotta love. Infinite, I think your 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 uh, typos just make me happy. Wow. That's game. And this is why Teferi is so good in this deck. Because they can't cast spells anymore. Hmm, about that. About that whole not being able to cast spell things, eh? Come on, don't make me do it. Please don't be this person on Magic Online. You're just wasting literally everyone's time for almost zero value. Even if I screw it up and click it wrong, like, what value are you gaining? You know, it's a league. Thank you for conceding opponent. If I didn't know how it worked, that's fine. But, well, no, this is not playing out the combo. This is just clicking things. This is a Magic Online thing. If your opponent's playing Ironworks and you're not sure if they can kill you or not, make them play it out for sure. But this is just a, a dexterity issue, basically, you know? All right, so good first win there. Um, we're gonna bring in our purge, dispel, timely, timely. I actually really like that Narset helps to find timely. That interests me. Um, 
What are we not interested in? I don't know, honestly. I mean, Path isn't great. Um, we have, I think our deck is soft to big mana. I think our deck is soft to big mana. Um, is that a problem? I don't really know yet. Like, forces are super awkward. They, are, they can be good, but maybe this is too many Narsets. I almost think cutting all the paths is fun. They're just not good. Like, we'll have six removal spells post-board, and then timely blocks, then Teferi bounces. I'm going to cut a force, too. Let's try this. I think Storm is actually fine right now. Alright, bad hand. Mulligan. Not a great hand. Uh, we're going to keep... We're going to bend the force. Very awkward mana here. We really don't want to take any damage from our lands if possible. Not a great hand. Not a great hand. I think Storm is competitive right now. I don't know. Why is Storm bad? Wild Nakatl. Alright, well that answers that question. That's why they're playing uh, Stomping Grounds. Um, we're definitely bolting this. And I'm... We're going to shock and do it now. It sucks, but... It allows us mana for next turn also, so... This... Don't want to get like a Tarkus commanded or mutagenic growth or something, so just do it now. I think Oath Anissa isn't very good. Oh my god. Their top card is Thunderous Wrath. Not only is that just not good, but if we have Teferi in play, they can't even cast it, which is pretty awesome for us. Oh god, alright. I mean, I don't know if we can win a game where they cast Thunderous Wrath on turn two, so. All right, maybe we can win. Uh, and their hand has to be, like, basically nothing for us to win this game. All right, Serum Visions. Land, another Feldar Guardian. I'm actually going to... Bottom both of I guess I leave the got the scalding tarn on top, so might as well, but I think it's timely or bust probably. The zoo deck plays four main deck Thunderous Wrath. Why? Why would this card be good, randomly good in this deck for no reason? When it's never been good before. I mean, obviously, like, the London Mulligan helps the card Thunderous Wrath, but... Alright. Well, that's not timely. Alright, so, tough game there. I mean, they cast a Goblin Grenade on turn two for free, but... Yeah, I should have bought him a Tarn, you're right. Is it, if the next card's a land, too, sure. That's fair. Um, Alright. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, that was a Thunderous Wrath. That actually makes me more inclined to have Force of Negation in my deck because countering Thunderous Wrath is actually pretty important. Um, what card can I cut? I guess we have I guess three Narsets, fine. We'll find the Timelys. There's just too many Narsets. Why did I concede? Because I was really, really, really dead? Mm hmm. I mean... They had three. They had three attackers. I mean, yeah, I guess if they had literally nothing, we go to one or something. But we're dead, so I value my time. Time reinforcements. I value timely reinforcements also.
Yeah, path is better, but I think it's fine. Maybe we could have brought like a path, path or two back in. Put them all against the six. Like it. Thanks for following everyone. If you haven't followed, just give me that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? We're playing some modern today. We're playing Jessica Sahili, Foundry, Bolt, to Ferry. Um, I'm pretty interested in both of these cards. Although, yeah, let's go top top. Alright, your turn. Atarkus Command is really, really good. Atarkus Command is a very real magic card. If you're just trying to goldfish with your burn deck, Atarkus Command is quite good. Sissy Bell! New sub, what's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Alright. Um. Aaron, thanks, my friend. Love the content. Can't wait to see your new mascot. He can't wait to meet you either. What's up, John Glass? This is like super telegraphed, but whatever. Seven hundred and twenty subs, y'all great. Y'all great. Send those to Healy. All right, it's so bottom both these. Your turn. All right, so man, if they have mutagenic growth here. That would be so insane. But we're gonna we're gonna bolt this up here. All right, so we go to eleven. Right on time for a nice timely reinforcements. What's up, B. Armstrong? Modern's cool. Modern's cool. Right on time. Back to 16. Love to see it. Sulfur Falls. Tarkus Command, you got it. So we're building up to a snap timely. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. A little awkward, but pretty cool. That was really good too, actually. We're just gonna have to ferry here and limit their ability to do a lot of things. Plus this, tap land, go. Now we have force available for a thunderous rat, something stupid like that. The ferry plus timely is, is pretty nice. Is pretty nice. Celestial purge. Feels so safe with the fairy in play. It's like we're playing a different game. Thunderous Wrath is off, correct. Skullcrack, targeting Sahili. Um, 13 to 13. That's fine, right? Like, top card, scry, timely, thirteen to thirteen. Um, it's funny. I kind of wish I had a fetch land. All right, we'll top that. Um, well, I guess I can't draw it and cast it on their turn. That's fine. We'll just draw it anyway.
I guess I could have, like, Snapcaster, Serum Visions, Bounce the Snapcaster. Snapcaster, Serum Visions, Bounce, Snapcast. Yeah, and then Cat... Yeah, maybe I could have done that, but whatever. Alright, so, Goblin Guide, sure. This is going to attack Sahili. Top card is Feldar Guardian, Celestial Purge, Concession. You're in combat, you can't cast spells. I don't know why you're tapping your lands. Passive Punked. Ahalia Salty about some of our bands. Awesome. Passive punked. Shame can see. They, they, were, they were dead, so. Yes, yeah, so once again, folks, for those who don't know what's happening, tomorrow, oh my god, white screen of death. We're, we're one and one. We're one and one. Tomorrow. Battle of the Bands. If you're watching on YouTube, look for this because it obviously already happened. All right? Battle of the Bands. What does that mean? It means that my chat gets to ban 10 cards from Ollie. Ollie's chat gets to ban 10 cards from me. And the result of that is this. All the voting is done. I am banned from playing Narset, Thought Erasure, Teferi, Soren, Risen Reef, Teferi, Mox Amber, Mountain, Kethis, Feather. Ollie is banned from playing Lantern, Field of the Dead, Golos, Krasis, Island, Masterminds, Narset, Next to Fate, Teferi, Teferi. Bam. There it is. So that's tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sponsor, sponsored and brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, I'm going to for your game shopping needs. They're going to be giving away four $25 gift cards to the winner's chat and two to the loser's chat. So if I win tomorrow, four gift cards for all you fine folks who help ban those cards from Ollie and make them real salty. Yes, I like the basic lands being banned. It's pretty funny. Like, I just can't play mountains. Like, that's great. <laughs> so I'm going to want to play red, you know? Why the island ban? I don't know. People just voted. All right. Um, definitely a keep. I think I think if, if, if it becomes a problem where they're banning every basic, then we'll make it so you can only ban one basic or something like that, you know? These are all easy problems to solve. Land, land, land. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Thank God for Serum Visions. Yes, Ali has lost his precious Chromatic Lantern, his precious Golos, his precious, his precious Masterminds acquisition. Oh, I felt like already, eh? Black Leaf Glyphs? Alright, I'm going to play a fetch so we have access to a bolt if we want it. Just play Mono Red with like four Stomping Ground, four Steam Vents, four Sacred Foundry, four, huh, whatever. Desert Ceridon? Ugh. All right. Um, I mean, Force should be hopefully be good here. Oh, I guess Teferi Time Ravel means I can't Cascade. That's so funny. Teferi is so obnoxious. It's unreal. <sighs> unreal. All right. Didn't say anything about snow-covered mountains. Oh man, Ollie's practicing right now. God, I'm wasting time playing modern. Look at this. Look at this. This mf'er practicing. Pfft. You talk about practice? Practice? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the fairy might be like a one card kill against them because they can't cascade. I mean, if they have like Simeon Spirit Guide Violent Outburst here, God bless them. Oh my God, they do. This is so sick. This is unreal.
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. I guess. I mean, I'll well, bounce this stupid thing. All right, that's pretty good. I mean, we lose the ferry now, so like, it's not. It's obviously not that bad. It forced him to like burn an outburst that wasn't even good, but still, like, kind of sucks, you know. Yes, yeah, so we're playing standard arena. If you're hyped for Battle of the Bands, put a Mr. Destructoid in chat. Hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that uh that shock there and then nothing else. Isabella from Australia. Awesome. Thanks for your content. I have a YouTube viewer. Awesome. Well, I appreciate my YouTube viewers very much. Thanks, Isabella. I appreciate that. Thank you for subbing. And uh, we're at 721 right now. So we're getting there. We're making some progress. Um, yeah, I mean, another outburst seems pretty reasonably likely. I kind of want to just leave up Force Negation hard cast. And just do it all. I can't do it all one turn though, because I can just do it. In response. Hmm. It's Healy plus. Yeah, I think we just bide our time here. We're playing as Living End, yes, and they were able to turn to Violent Outburst in response to our uh, Artifari, which turns off their entire deck, which is a big tilt. All right, Spell Pierce, pretty good. It's pretty good. Should I just rock Sahili? Like, they probably can't kill a Sahili. Can't do that extra one point of damage. I guess the, the Outburst would do it, but... All right, let's just do that. Very confusing. It's probably just cycle cycle, yes, but uh bottom. Alright, your turn. Infinite, your typos are just, just very funny to me. They're just hilarious. Are you like voice chatting? Like like voice texting? Everyone always gets, gets mad at me because I use the uh, the voice dictation feature of um, Beast Within Their Land. Yeah, that's that's not good. I use the voice, use the voice dictation feature uh, on Siri or on my phone when I'm texting all the time. And people are always like, what, what the hell are you saying? All right, so Sahili's dead. Feldar Guardian. I'm pretty fine with Feldar Guardian here. So we need a new Sahili. We do have Spell Pierce and Force Negation. So we have Interaction, to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I call I call Nicole Toots. That's that's my nickname for her. And um, when I when I say that to Siri, it autocorrects to Toilets. So it's like, hey, Toilets, get some Raisin Bran at the store. <laughs> it's funny. All right, Ceridon, Ceridon, Carabage, sure. Grove of the Burn Willows. It also would occasionally autocorrect to Teats, 
Those are Max Teets, my, my friend, the Magic player. And Nicole will get very jealous. I think we're just bolting this beast. We have force, so... Ooh! Crazy Legs resub, and then the Sicilian defense. New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. I'm old. I got a raisin bread. All right? You gotta get that fiber. All right. This isn't that bad. Um, Narset is good. Narset is good. I like Narset. All right. Um, I'll just start right there. Laying the main. Continuing that gift sub. Appreciate it. Is it possible for us to beat the draft commons? I don't know. We'll find out. Ring. Ring mum. Ring mum. I mean, all of our cards are so good against them. Narset is also good against all of, our all of our cyclers and stuff. It's pretty cool. Teferi is good against all of their Cascade stuff. A lot of, like, surprising hate here. Even if we find Sahili off of Narset, we're still not going to cast it. We're going to leave a Force Negation up. She calls you pumpkin. Your Siri calls you pumpkin. I like your Siri. I think I have a crush on your Siri. Vow and outburst. Cascade. So we are going to spell pierce the living end. So we hope we find a blue card for Narset. Lane the main just bought the living end deck the other day from. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com with, with my promo code. The blue one or the Jun one? I think the blue one's actually really good. Yeah, Nicole gets jealous of my Siri too. It's weird. Uh, yeah, that's a Sahili. I would prefer to, uh, to not have to pitch that to force negation, but awesome lane. I think that deck's good, honestly. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, I played a blue version of Living End on my stream yesterday. Uh, went 4-1. and one. Deck was actually really good, playing force negation. You'll see it in my article tomorrow on coolstuffinc.com. You'll also see it um, on uh, my YouTube at some point. Alright, so we have to force this, or we're, I guess we're not we, we just win, right? I'm being stupid. Hold on. They have a bunch of idiots. And we have another Feldar Guardian in our hand. So we can just cast Feldar Guardian, cast the Healy, and kill them. Can they interact with that in any way? I don't think so. I think it's just fine. They don't, they don't get haste. Just a bunch of idiots. Alright, let's so untap. With six mana, you can instant win. I'll just look at the card, I guess, because why not? It's very sure. Feldar Guardian. New sub is Nate from Pennsylvania, playing since 2011. Uh, favorite card, Lazav Demir Mastermind. We name the puppy Taya. Taya? Taya? Uh, always yes. Uh, always yield. Flicker, Sahili. Game. Um, yeah, I mean, our cards seem really good against them. <laughs> Let's bring in Ashiok and Narset. Um... I guess rest in peace. 
I guess Celestial Purge. We're going to cut all of the bolts. And I guess Helix and just call it a day. Like, So against random idiot creatures, we have four path, two snaps, a purge, and then to fairy bounce. With Yarok, with the Guardian trigger twice? Yes. Yes, it would. I could see an argument for the one Supreme Verdict. Um, maybe over, like, Celestial Purge. Just as a way to, like, mop up things if things get ugly. Um, excuse me. It is also blue for Force, which is cute, I guess. Force is, like, okay against them. It's not, like, amazing. Yeah, I like that. I like that better than the than the purge. I could have brought the dispel in. Um, they could have like ricochet trap things like that. Beast within. I probably should bring in the dis should bring the dispel, but whatever. Yeah, I mean the new one mana jam. It seems fine. It's like another stupid anti storm card or whatever. All right, we got a mulligan here. Unfortunately, nice verdict. Um, Mulligan. Alright, we're gonna keep. I mean... Again, Teferi is... Exceedingly good against them. Because they cannot cascade with a Teferi in play. So... Keep Ship Island. Street Wraith. Street Wraith. Street Wraith. Ah, <laughs> oh, our poor punch. <laughs> Start the game at 14 with no permanence. Ah, oh, so lucky if I drew the land. Alright, um, let's get a hollowed fountain, I guess. I should get Sacred Foundry, actually, because I have a... Uh... Yeah, sure. That's pretty funny. Uh, that's a party. This is also why Force is good in this deck, because when you draw redundant Planeswalkers, or just ones you don't need. Easy fire to pitch. Wow, runner, runner, land, so lucky. We have more white than blue post board. All right, I mean, we are going to play. Now, they do have six spells in their end. So, do we think they have Simeon Spirit Guide, Violent Outburst again? It's not even that bad if they do. Whatever. We have a Wrath, too. It's fine. And if they don't have it, it's just game over. So, go ahead. Do it again. That's what I thought. And I'm just going to plus. As long as this is in play, they can't Cascade. So... Then we can Narse it next turn, and they can't cycle and draw cards, really, so... <laughs> okay, Mountain Cycling is fair. They can do that. That's, 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 that's not going to stop, be stopped by Narse it. Blood Crypt, but didn't play it? There we go. That's better. Now you're thinking... Wouldn't it be cool if you couldn't do more things? Or if there were more things you couldn't do? Wouldn't that be fun, opponent? Rest in peace. It's honestly probably overkill at this point, but...
I don't even think I want Rest in Beast. Like, I guess they could, like, Beast Within and then do it. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. Sure. We're haters. And we're going to just plus this. So they can cycle one thing. Because uh, they can draw one card a turn. Ain't no kill like the overkill. Concession. Okay. Poor point. <laughs> like, every card in our deck is just this horrible prison permanent for them that they just can't beat. It just turns off their entire deck. Like, alright, 2 one 2 one Want to remind everyone to check out, check out bcwsupplies.com, our sponsors here. And I've been playing their gear in tournaments every tournament I've played the last four years. Great, great stuff. Check it out. Um, you get discounts for buying uh, in bulk online. Why does that matter? Well, if you really want 24 deck boxes, they're cheaper. No, for the sleeves, obviously. Buy five packs of sleeves for only six fifty each. Then use my promo code Jim10 for ten percent more off of that. I suggest the Elite Two matte front sleeves. They have a, uh, they're just smooth. Yeah, a little stick to them so they aren't slippery. I love it. They're great, great sleeves. You get the mulberries. Mulberry is the color you want. Check it out. BCWSupplies.com. Yes, I would like to go first. I like this deck a lot. I just really like this deck. I'm going to keep. Do I think smallpox on a creature would be too good for modern? Like a black black for a 1-1? One, one? Could you sack the 1-1 one, one to the smallpox? That's probably way too good. Their binders are phenomenal also. All their stuff is great, honestly. It's also very affordably priced. Uh, they are very, very good with their pricing. A lot of uh, supply companies tend to over gouge their prices because I think their stuff's really really cool but it's not really really cool it's just expensive everyone really likes this deafening everyone loves a good hate card they just love it deafening silence is fine it'll see play in sideboards um, I don't think it's any I don't think it's astoundingly better of any card we already have um, just a card you know just a card Arid Mesa F. Paul, that's a raid. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. Let's get a shout out for F. F. Paul's in chat, please. All right, I'm gonna play a land that can cast Path to Exile. Does this does stick prevent you from your library from toppling over? You, yes, it does. Like new glossy sleeves, sleeves are like hell on earth for the first five minutes. I would say that the the matte front sleeves are almost sticky for the first five minutes. So you have to give them a little bit of extra oomph to shuffle them. Shuffle them for like one or two minutes though, and they, they smooth out so well. There's just enough stick where you riffle, and you go for the bridge, and they're there. They're, they never pop out everywhere. It's awesome. Ooh. Stopping ground, rift bolt. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Um, so we'll get a... Uh, steam vents, I guess. Francisco, what's up, my friend? Appreciate the appreciate the uh, the raid ski. You're just in time to watch my burn opponent cry. You play Astrolab because it works with every single card in the deck. You bounce it with the fairy, you flicker it Feldar Guardian, or you copy it with Sahili. And it fixes your mana, which is cool too. But sorry. We're sorry. It's very important in this deck to make sure that your Feldar Guardian and your Sahili, your combo pieces, actually do things when they're not comboing. So what makes this deck so good is we're just playing like a Splinter Twin kind of like pseudo control deck that can also combo kill. They're gonna be so mad. Yeah, we're not actually sorry. They're gonna just sit right there in exile for all time. Yeah, I think it's like, I think this deck is just much better than four color. Um, I think red and six and ice fang are just not worth it. But playing that deck brought me to wanting to play Astrolab in this deck. 
How goes it against Living End? All of our cards are prison permanents for all of their cards, so we beat them. El Rotato, seven month resub. Welcome back. Boris Charm? Sure. Skewer the Critics? Sure. So we're not out of the woods yet. Um. Hmm. Okay. I definitely want to keep Teferi alive. We could just, like, draw a Teferi, fill their guardian, blink Teferi, plus that would require taking a damage off a of Scalding Tarn. Other options are, like, Astrolab, draw. We could Teferi, bounce it, draw, Astrolab, draw, tap land. But... That doesn't get us closer to actually winning the game, whereas putting Feldar Guardian in play does. So we're gonna we're gonna start on destroying cart. Okay, and then we're gonna go to ten. Ten is much better than nine. We could Feldar Guardian and bounce a land and play Astrolab and leave our Teferi vulnerable. That should be fine, honestly. Or we could just flicker Teferi. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's leave Teferi on too. I think this is fine. I'm going to Visions, actually, obviously, if it's better than Astrolab. So. This gives us a lot of looks at, uh, at Sahili. It's a brick. Let's get a chance to, to Narset to look for our one Lightning Helix, too. Um, ooh, that's bad. All right, well, I mean, the Syrian Blaze is the worst case. If they had to, like, double bolt this, it wouldn't have been that bad. But Syrian Blaze means we still take damage. Lava Spike to Ferry. Okay. All right, so they have, now they have zero cards left. All right, so we're back to square one. They're at square zero. Let's see if we can make this, uh, make this work for us. It's not bad. Um, okay, we can pitch that if we have to. That's also pitchable. Pitchable is a good word. And now if we draw a Feldog already, we just win. Okay. Land Brick City for our opponent. Now, Narset obviously can't find Feldar Guardian. Can't find Lightning Helix, though. Right, another Teferi or an Astrolab. I think, uh. I think I. Hmm. Kind of like the idea of. We get Sahili in play right now. We get to scry. If we play to Fairy, we can just bounce Astrolab and then and then play it again, then draw more cards. And so we can still have path up too. Yeah, let's take it take, take to Fairy. Um we're going to play to Fairy. Yeah. That's not a not a good play opponent. You should save your fetch lands for your searing blazes. Stoneforge is, isn't good in this deck. It just turns on their removal. Too many slots, too. The deck is all interaction, planeswalkers, and combo pieces. Um, okay. I mean, that's the combo, so... 
Let's just play Astrolab and we'll get them next turn. Alright, you're up. I mean, don't see how they're doing seven to us through Force of Will and Path to Exile and everything else, so. Yeah, zero cryptic commands. <laughs> cryptic command is borderline unplayable in uh, in this format. Oops. Feldar, a guardian. Now, cryptic is not playable in modern because it's a dismiss, and dismiss is not a playable card in modern. It's a four mana counter spell. We have free counter spells in modern. Let's play those instead. You know. All right. Um. So burn again. Bring in purge. Timely. Timely. Uh. Dispel. And maybe a Narset. We've been through this already. They got the paths. I think two Narsets fine. And I like this. Right. I think Cryptic Command is fine as like a one of or a two of in the big control decks, but it is a card that is at a half a turn too slow for the modern format. Ugh. Ugh. I like it. Um, I mean, Spell Pierce is really good against Burn. It trades one for one easily. And we have Helix. The problem is we're mulliganing. Uh, we're both six cards. They kept. We're going to keep... I think we're going to ship one Spell Pierce. It's also awkward we have Island. But we're going to keep... We're going to ship a Spell Pierce... Can't even cast Helix yet, but all right. Rift bolts. Ah, it's a fairy. If only we had a Black Lotus. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah. yeah. My neck is stiff. Have a hockey game tonight, that'll loosen me up. The thing is, we have a lot of three mana spells in our deck. We also have four forces. So, that's your fodder. Draw too many of them, pitch to force. Ooh, yeah! Snap it to a Slim Jim. That is a sponsorship that I would not accept because I don't like Slim Jims. Alright. Uh, back to back to fairies. Not so good. Maybe we actually could shave one to fairy in this matchup. Now I'm thinking about it. I think Narset might be better than to fairy. Once we have like the, the, the hammer life gain cards in our deck, um, like timely and stuff, and the game is less about trying to combo ASAP, to fairy becomes worse. Four star of spell pierce. GLN898, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend. I mean, Teferi's good. We still have three of them, but I don't think you want four, is my point. If you're looking for shaving a card, I think Narset to find timely just seems better. Light him up. Land, please. I'll take a basic planes. All right. Teferi's insane. Teferi's... Oh, my God. Please draw land. Please draw land. Please, 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 please. God damn it. Come on! I guess we can cast Snapcaster Mage, so I'll turn off the F6 here. 
play Goblin Guide, we'll snap Gesture to block it. Again, this is why there's only two snaps, because it it's a three drop in this deck. In all decks, honestly. So, too many threes. Come on. You know, where you been? Where you been? Alright, we're gonna narse it. Force negation, love it. Wow, no spell? Mm -hmm. Sure. I could have counted that. Maybe I should have counted that, actually. I was just so happy they weren't bolting me. I think this is fine. Uh, Scalding Tarn. Okay. I mean, now he gets a fairy in play. We can start helixing them and snapping the helix and helixing them and snapping helix and... Just doing all stuff. Yeah, Teferi is gross. Teferi... I don't know if they realized all the stupid things Teferi does. Like stopping Chandra, stopping Cascade, stopping Suspend. Like... You play a modern, a modern tournament with Teferi in your deck, you'll find at least one new thing he does to screw somebody over. Bring Delight, that's another one. Feldar Guardian A. Um, I mean, I kind of want to, kind of want to just draw some cards. Helixing them is cool, but it's not very mana efficient. Um, hmm. Struckard. All right. Well, see, so the good news is they can't even play on my turn. So these forces are always live because they have to play things on their turn. Do I think blue black control will be viable when Eldrain hits? No. No draw go counterspell traditional control deck will be a bit, will be playable in standard as long as Teferi Time Raveler and Narset are legal magic cards. So until Teferi and Narset rotate, you will not be able to play the traditional draw go counterspell style of control deck that I really like. I'm sorry. I'm sad too. Uh, yeah, sure. Timely reinforcements, A. Eh? Uh, okay. I'm just gonna cast this. Cause they draw like a fetch land. I guess fetch land is fetch land plus Sunbay Canyon. I guess I can respond to the fetch, sure, whatever. Targus Command. Can't gain life. Three to each opponent. Um, do I want a Helix? Or Timely for just six life? If I Helix, I can snap Helix next turn. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll just Helix them. Oh my god! Skewer the critics. Sure. Serum Visions Plus. It's going to make a land drop, I guess. I'll just cast this. Celestial Purge, whatever. Honestly, top, top. Attack. 
He's gonna time me now. They can't damage themselves in some way. Whatever. Take my six, take my six life and be happy with it. And anything else, opponent? This is what I was saying. Where like we don't necessarily need to combo once we have these life gain cards available to us. So um, the the Teferis aren't as necessary. Skewer targeting us, sure. Uh, is Lab into Serum Vision? Like, I want to snap Helix. So, Flare, uh, you can name your sub babe, but if I, if I give out a, a free deck tech to you, I give one to everyone, and then and then I just be doing deck techs the rest of my life. So, name that sub baby. I appreciate the sub. Thank you, thank you for the resub. No harm in asking, of course. Welcome back, my friend. Thank you so much. Deck techs are 10 buckaroos. Now what? Crazy Squirrel. Tarkus Command. Sure. All right, Crazy Squirrel, going all the way here. The big finish. Lightning Bolt, targeting me. Snapcaster Mage, targeting Lightning Helix. Lightning Helix, oh my god. And I'm going to counter this in case they have a, a Firecraft. I'll just bounce Snapcaster Mage post-combat and flashback at Timely. It doesn't really matter what the hell we do. I guess we can't do that, I guess. But uh, Serum Vision, no. No. Serum Visions. I have bolt too. Yeah, I have, I have bolt. Never mind. Uh, whatever. Yeah, top, top, attack. That works too. Whatever. Just do whatever I want. I just hit buttons randomly. I'll win. Hitting buttons randomly is tight. Bolt. Upstairs. Sweet, 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 sweet. We are three and one now. Is that the at the match or the game? I don't remember. Who's the burn deck now? All right, three and one. Um, this deck feels pretty good. Kind of like it, honestly. Kind of like it. Remember, folks, give me a follow on the old Twitter sphere. All right, at Jim Davis MTG. Stay appraised what's going on. We're in September right now, as you can see. We're at 726 subs, getting close to our next goal. Awesome. 11 days to go in a row. Battle of the Bands tomorrow, 1 p.m. Going to be a lot of fun. Um, these are all decks we're playing today. We just played this this uh, Spooky Burn deck. If you missed it, be up on YouTube. And our next deck is going to be this Mono Blue Tron deck. Probably 5, 6, 7. I have a hockey game tonight. That's probably fun. And uh, also, I'll be playing in Twitch Rivals. Uh, next Tuesday, a lot of fun. 40-person standard tournament, um, all the best players and streamers in the world, and me, I'm the 40th player. And uh, we're playing Standard 2020. That's right, the new format on Arena of Future Standard, plus those four Throne of Eldraine cards. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, this is a, kind of a sad one. I would, would not mind if uh, people would take a look at this. This is my, my buddy Brian. Uh, me and Brian have been really close friends for like two decades now he's been in, he's been in half the bands i've been in he's in teach, even teach me human uh they had a baby a few months ago and 
Um, she, her her heart is failing, and they're in the hospital, and she's like online for a heart transplant. I know, obviously, you don't, you don't know who who it is. It's kind of like, why should I help this person? But if you have a little money and you have a little time, you can read about it. It's on my Twitter. Um, we feel terrible for them, and I just hope that uh, we hope things work out. So, not to be too much of a downer. Sorry to bring everyone down a little bit, but. All right, let's go. Let's win, win this last one. What's up, Magus of the Moon? Um, sounds fine. I can keep. It's not great. It's fine. I could see maybe playing three paths in this deck and not playing four, but... Bloodstain Mire. This burn again? God, what is all these burn decks? Alright. I guess we're gonna want path on turn one maybe, so we'll we'll play Mesa. Our hand is not very good against burn. <laughs> Three times in one league. This is definitely my kind of deck, though. I like this deck a lot. Definitely a good chance I play this at the PTQ on Sunday. So, Spear... Oh, no, they have a one-lander. <laughs> no, I don't want to cast Pat the Exile. They have a one-lander. Oh, I'm not going to cast it. Oh, it sucks. <sighs> Why are you like this? All right, let's get Sacred Foundry tapped. Save some life points here. On uh, our lands. Oh man. If I could play five bolts and three paths, I would do that so fast. Like, whenever I used to see a, a, a just kind of control deck that was playing three bolts and four paths, I would just lose my mind. It's just so dumb. You never want to cast path on turn one or two. Take one. Oh. Oh, heartburn. Oh. I mean, no spell here is pretty weird. They might have drawn the land and ha and also have Eidolon. Um, because what could they have that they wouldn't cast for a prowess trigger? Unless they're scared. Of, let's just say they're, they're scared of path or bolt, I guess. I'm going to path it, I think. I'm playing Sahelia next turn. I have to pass it, path it, so this sucks. Yeah, they just assume I have removal. It's very fair. It's either either bolt or path, obviously. So, uh, genius. I would play this deck over four color. I think four color is more trouble than it's worth, and that Ren and Six and uh, Ice Fang aren't good enough. This deck seems really really tight. Astrolab is just so good. With Sahili and Feldar Guardian at the ferry, there's no reason to, to play another color. Alright, I mean... We are threatening to combo them, so... Anyone done any artist altars of like people getting snapped for Path to Exile? I'm sorry, Sahili. I don't feel so good. Bolt. Targeting. Me. Alright. The problem is all their bolts break up my combo too, so. Serum Visions. That's okay, I guess. 
Again, the problem is that any burn spell that can target a Planeswalker breaks the combo up. So, ooh. Well, now I wish I bottomed. Narset. I'm going to bottom that. I'm probably fetching a land tapped anyway, so I might actually just crack this fetch first, then Serum Visions, then... Oh, I can't do that. I got to path. I'll path first, then... Yeah, then... So we're going to path them again, which sucks. Uh... Going to nine really sucks. All right, I'm just gonna guess Serum Visions. Okay, uh, bottom, bottom, prayer. Hockey game tonight. Get hyped. What's up, Squid? How's it going? Yeah, we're catting. I mean... So the problem here... Wait, no. Wait, wait. Bolt me? Okay. <gasps> we win. We did it. Hooray! Listen, you don't want to take two from your Eidolon, alright? Take two from Eidolon, you know? The only thing I can think of is that they they saw us bottom-bottom and felt really safe. Um, because that was obviously really stupid. They could just kept the bolt and defended the combo. Um, but, yeah, I mean, here you are. It is very nice playing a deck in modern that can just win the game out of nowhere. That is a really nice attribute for a deck for a deck to have. So your opponent makes one mistake, they're dead. You know, you play a deck like, like, a deck like blue white control, and you can't capitalize on your opponent's mistakes. It sucks. Soul flare, you got it, man. Deck Poor lady. Tech been playing this in modern leagues and doing decently well. Deck deck coming up. Ten bucks for a deck deck. I suppose it's possible they don't, they don't know how the combo works either. Maybe they weren't playing standard when this was legal and standard, so. You can save targets? What? Whoa. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> I've been playing Moto since before you were born, Magus of the Moon, all right? Um, why can't it... Why well, didn't save a target, though? That part worked. Oh, cause, is, cause, is it because it's a difference to Healy? Yeah, maybe that's why. 
Sure, alright. Whatever, it definitely helps. Oh my god, subs are being gifted. Left and right. Yeah, our, our opponent's being very rude. As I said earlier, if you're playing on Magic Online, don't do what my opponent's doing right now. It's just rude. Uh, you're just wasting everyone's time. You're playing for, like, a couple, a couple tickets. Maybe a chest and some play points. Like, it's not worth it, you know? Like, yeah, maybe I misclick and I lose the game because of it. Great. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. One more for good measure. And one more for good measure after that. Playing a PTQ? Sure, make him do it. That's fine. But... Yeah, thank you for wasting the last five minutes of our lives, opponent. Rage Cat. I like that our opponent's name is Rage Cat, too. After punting the game horribly. So I appreciate that. Do gifted subs count towards the goal? Absolutely. Um, we're at uh, 7.30 right now. It's awesome. All right, board for burn again. Dispel Celestial Purge. Uh, timely, timely. And we're gonna we're gonna bring Narset over to Ferry again. So cut the Ferry, cut the four paths. Call it a day. Yes, there is time and a place to make your opponent play it out. A random round of a random Magic Online League is probably not it. I mean, I'm, they're playing burn, so I'm unlikely to clock. Yeah, I mean, you could always make... Like, if you really if you really want to min-max your opponent, um, you could always make them take the entire time on their clock because maybe they have a stroke and die, and you win the game because of that. You could do that. So if you actually want to min-max every single match of Magic Online you play, you should make your opponent use their entire clock or use your entire clock because they might just die, Right? I mean, that, that's, that, that's the, 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 the conclusion that the logic that playing that game out means. Um, all right. This hand is not great. Um, I'm going to bolt. I need to take this call. This might be important. Hold on. Sorry, folks. Ah, I missed it. All right, whatever. Who cares? Um, it's not great, but we're going to keep. If, that is true. If their EV is negative, they're better off wasting their time. That's true. That's true. If you are constantly hemorrhaging uh, hemorrhaging losses, it is better to take more time than less time. Goblin God. A Donnie Darko jet engine through the roof scenario. Exactly. I mean, now we're in that awkward spot where we're going to bolt this goblin guide. If they have an idol on it, really, really sucks. But we're main phasing, so we have save for seven cards in our hand. Thank God, no idol on. Whew. They just never have it, and it's great. Oh, God, no, they have it. All right, that's bad. Um, Helix. Oh, Lord, right. All right, I mean, obviously Snap Bolt's kind of lame. We could just bounce it with the Teferi, honestly. It could be worse. We could Ambush Viper, but... I don't know. Maybe that's the play. They can obviously just bolt it or kill it or whatever. Uh, this is 
is probably bad. We kept a loosey goosey one, unless we're getting punished. Top card Sahili. Oh my god. Ermagur. Alright, so we're gonna say go. We're gonna Snapcaster. I guess it's the same thing. If we block with Snapcaster, let the thing die, and then shocks or bolt something. I believe Harsh Mentor stops the Sword of the Mikia. It doesn't stop it, but they deal damage. Timely reinforcements on top. Not quite. Not quite. So one point Searing Blaze? Alright. If it land? Oh, I don't remember if they played a land this turn. Alright, so we're like basically dead. I think maybe we draw... Our, our top card's... Uh, what did it reveal? Oh, the Astrolab. We can draw it a timely maybe? Okay. That sucks. That doesn't matter, actually. Alright, so... We're at two. Draw. For Astrolabe. Damn it. Alright. Ham wasn't great. Maybe we could have mulliganed. I don't know. Maybe, like, post-sideboard, our deck's pretty good. We should just mulligan more aggressively. But, that's fine. We're on the play now, and uh, I'm just going to hit that back. Excuse me. Would have gone for Teferi Bounce Eidolon on the previous turn. Then play cat to reset it. I mean, they probably just kill it. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's better. Could be better. Could be better. Any leads on the new mascot? Well, you're a sub. So if you're in the Discord, you can literally look at him. I took a picture of him sleeping in my lap as I wrote my article this morning. But don't you dare reveal it to everyone, obviously. Subs get perks. Plebeians don't get to see it until we get the the uh, the thing we're looking for, the bonus thing. Uh, this place. Wear tear is way too narrow. I'll leave a path in before I uh, before I wear tear. I mean, if you're a sub. And you're not in Discord, you are missing out. All new subs, check out the Discord. We have a private Discord chat server. Don't know what Discord is, it's just IRC, but for the year 2019. Just a chat server, and it's uh, where all the good stuff happens. Ashiok to turn off fetches? I mean, they'll have three, plant, three lands in play already. <laughs> Like, Spell Pierce, Astrolab, Feldar Guardian. That's all pretty good, honestly. Um, I think I like both of these. And we'll see. Go. Yep, Discord's on mobile. as a great mobile app. Where in the Discord? In the random section. Ooh. 
Kind of like that. Um, no play. This makes me feel like they have an idol on. Which bodes well for our Celestial Purge to do something. Yeah, Discord is like the best, the best possible chat server. I use it for everything. I have a Discord for every Magic, every Magic team I've been on is on there. CNBCW is on there. Um, all streamers use it for their for their streams. Uh, my Fantasy Hockey Discord is on there. I'm in various other Discords for streamers and, and stuff like that. Uh, Phantom Legends uses Discord. Twitch Rivals uses Discord. Um, it's just a much better Google Hangouts much better Google Hangouts. It's super simple, easy to use, the video chat works, it's awesome. All right, um, Force of Negation is kind of nice. Uh, I think I like this here. Probably just gonna say go and then purge it when they attack. Lava Spike. We're not at the point where we're going to be countering random three damage burn spells, so. I and mean, they're really unloading the clip here. Alright, I'm going to spell pierce this. And then we'll fetch uh, a land of some color and purge this uh, goblin guide. Ooh, force negation is really good against life, life Malone, that is fair. Yep, there's, there's a lot of great Pokemon Go groups on Discord. I'm in two of those. Like, Discord is just... Oh, man. Now we're going to shuffle away a Saheeli. I think it's fine, honestly. Our hand's really good. Alright, let's get... Mountain, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Celestial Purge. Land. Not a shock land. Alright, uh... It's a fairy. I don't get it. plus. So we got force here. I guess worst case would be like haste creature or Eidolon. We can just bounce Eidolon if we have to. Um, sure. This is actually just fine, honestly. Um, we just bounce Eidolon, play Feldar Guardian, and Flicker Teferi, say go. They're gonna Boros Charm targeting me after playing Eidolon. Um, so we could force this, but we'll take two off Eidolon, and that seems kind of crappy. We don't really need to do that. Um, this is fine. Things are a little precarious, for sure, but it does seem kind of like my opponent is just making plays at random. Like, if they're a bot that was programmed to just, like, try and play burn, and for the most part, they just cast spells at random, that does kind of feel what it feels like. Is this targeting me? Uh, maybe they, maybe they, don't, they don't know the new, the new rules about damage. Because it seems like they're just sitting here waiting for the prompts to ask if they can target Teferi or not. That might be it. That make, that makes more sense. Because I was surprised they didn't target Teferi. Alright, so... Bounce Eidolon. Draw a card. Alright. Um, 
Um, I mean, this is not ideal, that's for sure. Like, Yes, please. We'll go up here. Difference between fives and six is not very much. Uh, two lands there was pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. I think I want to save this so I can bounce the idol on again, Dan. So. <gasps> I can't counter that. All right, better better him than me, I guess. All right. They're scared. They're 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 just making plays at random. It's just a random burn player. It's fine. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, that's pretty good. Um. I think we're just going to Helix snap Helix, right? They have two cards in hand. And then we can't force negation, but... Oh, boy. Um, yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll fetch a Plains. I guess they can't skull crack me, right? This doesn't actually really matter. Like Teferi's in play. There's no normally I would do this because I, I want I want them to like skull crack me or respond, but like I can just say go here and plus Teferi, and then if they if they play Eidolon, just go Helix snap Helix, then kill them and like lock them under Eidolon. Yeah, I like that. I think. I'm gonna plus Teferi and say go. It also leaves us with the option to force negation. We can Helix them and force, or we can snap. We can do this. We can do that. And again, if they just play Eidolon, and all of a sudden they're at at, uh, at six like less life, that's pretty good. So I don't see a reason to draw a Teferi here. Let's keep Teferi in play. Teferi's really good. Teferi makes our life super, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. They also might go for Firecraft if they have it, thinking they're going to win. All right, so there's Eidolon. It's a pretty easy Helix U. Green cards aren't worth trouble. Astrolab is the good green card. Just play the Astrolabs. And then don't play green. Lightning Helix, oh my god! That's funny, because now that they're at 5, I can just attack them with the Snapcaster Mage. Like... doing here does not seem very smart <laughs> okay sure um <laughs> so i just bounce one of these and they can never cast a spell ever again <laughs> at least they get its act but um I mean, technically, it's not a lock because, like, they can... If the board stays the same, I die. If they attack, I block. They kill me eventually. But this is pretty funny. All right, we're going to bounce an idol on and draw a card. Let me draw a bolt. All right, whatever, sure. Well, I guess they, yeah, I'm sorry. They can't attack, can't attack a bolt, right? So, they can attack with one, I guess. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We drew a lightning bolt. Who cares? There you go. You're dead. I do really enjoy the, the game states that Eidolon creates. These weird, sort of like, weird null game states. Alright. So, that was a pretty convincing 4-1.
Our only loss was kind of eh. I don't remember what it was, honestly, but... Oh, yeah, we also had that weird, like, blue-red control deck. Which seems hard, honestly. And, um... This deck seems awesome. Uh, Richard, you've connected the Twitch to your Discord. It takes about an hour to sync up. They do the sync ups in batches, like, every hour. So, wait an hour and give it a little time. It should, it should pop right up. Yeah, they were dead, obviously. But, um... Deck seems sweet. I like this deck a lot. Um, I think I like Four Force. I think the Snapcasters and all the threes are tough. And I think that Snapcaster is one of the worst threes. Um, like Spell Pierces, like the Helix. Like maybe with two Spell Pierce and four Force Negation, you're a little too soft to like creature decks, but there aren't that many creature decks right now anyway. Um... So I think that if there is one flex spot in the deck, it's Force Negation. And it could be something else. But against creature decks, you have four path, four bolt, a helix, two snaps, and a combo, you know? So, teal! Subway, Subway eat fresh. 1, Subway 100, Subway 100, bonus 120. September, half price subs, y'all rate. I wouldn't cut snap. I would just cut it, but, um, September, we're on our way to goal number three, looking forward to it, donation bonus leagues will reopen, you've been asking for it forever, I've been saying hashtag soon forever, well here it is, here it is, alright, and then the big one's 900, the new 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 pet, alright, um, YouTube folks, subscribe, I love you. you're all great.